Hello, I'm 333Liger and welcome back to Racer Sun. This will be the la last episode for today. I had a look at the level editor and for me, I could not possibly make any of these levels. It's too much time on my hands. Um, I'm not going to even show you that's how bad it is for me because um, it's just a lot of graphical work and I don't know if I could do that. And the other thing is, I got three levels by um, by no one, which is created by someone. I don't know who that is, but these ones say Dolmax, Kingsway, and oh yeah, Lance, Last Sun, Kingsway, and Sand Trap by Eha as well. So I was gonna do one, and then two, and then three. But first, we'll play Labyrinth and see how far we can get for a little bit, and then we'll go and play those. See if we can actually finish it at least. But um, I got the best levels I can see on Steam Workshop, or at least ones I liked. Oh, you can collect them. Okay. They're like the... Didn't know that at first. I didn't know that at first, the fact that you can collect these. I thought they're like obstacles, not things you can collect. Good to know. I'm going to matter too much. Because after today, it'll be irrelevant. I've pretty much done all the levels and everything, so... Yeah. Got like all the levels that I have got, so... Uh, max level. Also, I'll put all the, um... I'll put all the links to the people's um, Steam Workshop pages to just so that you guys can um, look at the guys' um, levels too. Make sure I get those links proper. See how good they are, you know, the best ones I could see on pictures and, you know, quality. Look for the hardest, most difficult ones at the same time, you know. You know, ones that stood out. I don't know what, I, I don't know what that little, um, circuit board is. Okay, that's pretty cool actually. That thing. You have to get it exactly right. A couple more goes and then I'll go try these other um, levels. Cause I doubt I finish this. You know, there's probably a lot of levels to it. Like it's not infinite like the other levels are, but it's definitely a lot of levels. Guessing. What's this? What? Okay. I didn't get the light, the light bulb thing. Whatever that is. <laughs> this seems random, though. A little bit. Just a little bit. Also, I'm recording this on the same day. I'm recording this on the same day I had last ep episode as well. Just, you know, I can say, get it over and done with so I can get this new game going. Set up, or whatever. So I decided to record this on the same day.
I uh, just had a quick look, a couple levels, make another video. This will be the last video and prepare the next game that I play. You know, usual thing. But yeah, I had a look at the editor and the editor is just like, no, nope. What do these do? I just don't know. You just don't know if you should run into them or not, you know. I don't really like that level, you know, I really don't. <laughs> it's slow, but really annoying. Not in, I wouldn't call it intense, it's very uh, irritating. Just, I don't know. Anyway, let's see, see how these are, shall we? Um, some objects have a 50% chance of turning in, uh, I haven't even like read this at all. Turn power up and 50% chance of turning in something else. Uh, some objects have yeah uh, uh, only does that when you are in co there are also lots like crash all right let's see all right okay it's like a random it's like a lucky lucky block thing like a lucky block sort of thing, I get it. Fair enough. It's pretty cool. It gives you that randomness feel that I like. Like, the normal game needs randomness and this gives us sort of... It gives that sort of randomness that you'd like, because it's all the same, but it's all randomly done at the same time. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, like with the normal game, everything's all the same layout. But this gives it sort of a randomness, like, very, uh, makes it unpredictable. And I like that. I like that. It's good. Because you need, you need randomness in this game. If there's randomness, then you, you're not going to do the same old path every single time. And that's pretty cool. gonna say that there um all right it's pretty good cool. I'll come back to it I'll definitely come back to it and play it again I just want to go through them quickly and I might play apocalypse so we got rating 4.7 rating 359 I didn't even read that and then rating 302 okay so that's the highest rating one okay King's Way is fun yeah okay I know there was a broken one there, so. Oh, it's actually quite foggy, and that's pretty cool. I like that. Aesthetics. It's like closer up to the ship, too. That's pretty cool. Little banners. Yeah, it's like a castle theme, isn't it? Swords and stuff. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you can go through these. Uh, that's pretty cool. But they're like, um, they're like a cloud, so they block your sun, um, probably. Unless there is no sun in this level. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of crystals, so... Oh, and that's a dragon. Made me jump a little bit, actually. That dragon just actually did make me a little bit of jump there at first. And then they're like, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I like it. Um, but this one stood out the most. I'll probably play this one a bit longer than all, all of them. Because I like real difficult maps. And I thought this was really evil looking. Yes. Yeah, basically just jump over it all. Okay. Yeah, this is the sort of map that you you kind of need. Like this is a style of map that I would probably make because the whole um, spikes you just don't know where to go. It's all the same, but it's, you just it's all the same like all across the board so because of the spikes are like everywhere you just don't know which way to go so it, it basically forces you to think a bit faster and yeah this this is something that I'd like yes it's a bit of a steering glitch problem though bit of a jerkiness. I don't know where that's from. It's like a rubber banding effect or something. Something's causing that. I don't know what that is. Oh shit. Yeah, this is probably my favorite. I mean, the, the other ones are well designed and pretty, but I like deadly maps. Damn it. Like, just the challenge, like this sort of, you know, I like it just like Apocalypse, you know, I like that challenge. And this has that sort of touch that I like. This is probably a level I keep compared to um, the other two. Yeah, not bad. We get in there. No bird. No bird. Okay, no bird. Oh. Don't know what that rubber banding is, but... Whoa! <laughs> Interesting. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this one's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll probably keep that one. That one's pretty cool in the design aspect. Uh, in the design a aspect of it, it's pretty cool. But in the difficulty, meh. That's excellent. For the rating, I think that should be much higher rating. And that one, 
the randomness is cool. I like the idea of the randomness, but if it was not the same thing over and over again, maybe. It's very repetitive, basically. This is repetitive, but for a reason. That's repetitive and like a little less thought into it. Yeah, I like it. It's what wall design. Anyway, I play Apocalypse for the rest of the day and we'll um, see how far we can get. And I looked at my achievements and I'm only like 60% done. I got like a, a lot of the achievements where you have to get a certain amount of score, like a million points and stuff like that. Oh, not a million points, I think it's a million distance or something. Oh, really? I do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> I'm going this way. <laughs> Stupid bloody things. <sighs> I hate this part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put the links down to the Steam Workshop pages and everything. And, yeah. Failing. Even though I recorded this on the same day, I'm still failing. <laughs> Just bad. Ah, oh, come on. I was doing better earlier. In my last video. Wow, it's like, it's like the world's completely changed and I just don't recognize it and it's just causing grief. It's like a bit of a more difficult apocalypse than normal. Missile just like confused me a bit. The white thing that blew up and confused me. Didn't know which way to go, basically. I'll skim right through those trees. Oh. Might have, um, you know, good good handling, but man, like, you know, just doesn't seem to handle good enough, but 
Yeah, um... There's really much, not much to do in this. It's just... Basically, either play Apocalypse or play other, like, workshop sort of levels. That's about it. So, I might, uh, might play with the workshop levels just a little bit longer and see. But, really, there isn't much left in this game that I can offer. There's one other game that's going to take its place, and I'm already, you know, getting into it, but it's like, the game that I got going is basically going to be there for a while. So it's like, I'm excited for the, the game that I'm getting ready for this. It's like, very similar in a way, but different concept. You'll understand, and that... Landed it, but didn't stay on it. Damn it. I can never get that. I can never land on that. Yeah, so, um... I was saying the next game is, like, really fast. Basically. Just like this sort of thing. A hectic sort of style. And bye bye sun. Can I get in that? Yes, I can. The thing is, I got no sun, and that means. Bleh. I'm gonna try this again. Give it one more go on each of them. Hang on a sec. I, I remember why I was coming in here now. I wanted to change my other decal back to... I got that one, but I'm not gonna put that on there. I'm gonna put it back to the exploration. On the other one. So I have the... Dragon and Exploration, they're my two favorites. Whoa! Hello. It's pretty cool how you can see them all, like that. So... That makes it... It's like, it's not even hard, basically, when you can do this. Oh, never mind. When you can jump across that and get really high up, that makes it a little easy. I mean, how easy is it to do that? I wouldn't say exactly easy, but I did happen to hit it and go flying. Okay, that's the first time I got hit by them. <laughs> I was not expecting that. But I do like the concept, anyway, of the randomness. The randomness is pretty cool. Oh, it's a different one. Okay, it looks different. I see. It's got like a striped line on it, yeah. Hello, Mr. Rock. There's one with a striped line on it. They send you flying. Ah, that, one. that one etches the head, yeah. Gotta watch out for those rocks. Yeah. I know which ones they are now. And that doesn't help. Like, the randomness still gets me, you know, because it's all randomly different. 
on each of them. It's not the same. So just little things like that can just wreck you. Like it's, it's easy on the concept of it, but it's not ha not easy for the fact that it's random and you just don't expect it. Okay. I really gotta remember them. They're the only thing that are still getting me. Yeah. Too focused on trying to look for these other things that not paying any attention. Not really paying much attention to the whole um, other guys here. There we go. That's awesome. this again because I do like it like the dragon part was pretty cool But I do love the crystals. Pretty cool. Oh, that's a big giant wall there. again. It's designed to be a level based one which is pretty cool. Like I like some of the levels that I saw where they don't use the sun like like this one where they don't use the sun as a mechanic where you have to beat the sun even though the game's called race the sun they get rid of that whole concept and just like make a level that you have to fly through and I thought that was pretty cool on some of the levels like this that's one reason I picked this one because of the whole castle theme but um I didn't play them as you saw like they're brand new so I didn't play this beforehand but I did see the pictures and stuff so it's like they're pretty cool I don't know how the hell he did the dragon, but it's pretty well done. Must have taken some quite effort to do that. Because I've seen the editor. I've seen the editor, and the editor looks like an absolute bitch. Probably, oh, holy. Yeah, probably be easy once you know how to do it. But, um... Once you get the hang of the editor, you probably have to do it, but it looks so time consuming. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Whoa. Hello, spikes. <laughs> Spike just like hit me in midair. That's. I don't know about that one. 
The spike killed me at the end. Not the dragon, the spike. <laughs> the spike slowed me down and then caused me to crash into the wall. I'll give it one more go and then I'll play the other one. And then that'll be it. But it's very well done, like the time and effort that you'd have to put into playing the editor, like just working out that editor, that editor just too much for me, too much. I, I probably could try and make a level, but I'm not an artist like this, like just look how pretty this cave is, nowhere near what I could do. Like, 3D stuff, nah, not really an artist. More of a critic than an actual artist. Like what? Some places are just like, which way do I go? <laughs> All right, last, last bit for today. I'll see how far I can get in this, and then go from there but the the whole um i don't know if it's just like a rubber bean in effect or something because when you you move and then it springs springs you back you, you move for left or right for a little bit and then you, then you let go of the button and it springs you back a little bit and i don't know if that's by design or not but that's it's a little bit odd it makes it a little bit harder too, but it's a bit odd that it does that. Like, it does that like rubber banding sort of thing. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I was going to go through, not jump. Whoa! Even higher than the thing that I can't even pick it up. That's awesome. That was a really high up ramp. I hit the spike, I think, and I must have like got launched from the spike. It's pretty much as bad as Apocalypse, this level. Thank you. 
I'm curious about something actually. I got one more thing on my sleeve. I got one more thing on my sleeve. Hang on. If I go back to Labyrinth. And crash into something first. I gotta crash into something first. And I'm curious about something. If I go to camera and I go first person. Hey, yes, that's what I want. Because, um, this sort of level, you it's a labyrinth. You don't want to have to know where to go, you know? You don't want to have a uh, directional thing, so... I think they designed it like this, I think. I think you have to follow the lights in first person, I think. I think that's how they sp you're supposed to play it. So yeah, I think I might end it on uh, after this, I think. Oh shit. Yeah, that's the only problem. You don't know if you're going to get stuck. So in the whole like default mode where you can see overhead, you can see where if you're going to get stuck or not, but that makes it challenging. That makes it really challenging. Um, if I go back to this one. Yeah. yeah it's not much difference because um, it's, it's pretty much the same as like if you're doing the normal default camera. So, meh. Um, anyway, there you go. The last sunset forget who it's created by, but I'll link it into the d description down below. And I got Kingsway, Dolmax, created by Dolmax, oh, whatever. and Sandtrap. Um, I don't know how you spell it. E-Hot. E-Hot. Mm. Probably my favorite out of the three, but that one's very well designed. That one's hard as hell, and that's like, reminds me of Apocalypse heaps. Uh, I don't know what's doing the rubber banding effect. Maybe you could maybe fix that. But apart from that, that's pretty much only it. That's still my favorite. Fix the rubber banding maybe, and it might might be better. It's probably because there's so much. That's probably what it is. Probably because there's so much on the screen. But who knows? And that could be a little bit more random. It needs to be way more randomized. There needs to be more stuff. You know, there needs to be lots of stuff randomized, not just the same old usual thing. Like, um, for example, you got the new, whatever you got, Apocalypse, for example. If you have Apocalypse and then you have it all randomized like that, then be good. But yeah, there you go. I've been 333 Liger. This has been Race of Sun. Um, I'll catch you all in the new game that I come out with. Hopefully I can get that out soon. Um... I'm not going to say what it is because it's a surprise, but um, I've got to get a special device to record the screen instead of instead of it on a computer or something. I have to actually record it with like an actual separate device, so I need to get that. So there's a few little steps I have to do to record this new game that I'm coming up with, um, but it's only just come out recently and I'm excited. So anyway. I'll catch his catch his all when I do that. Bye.